Hi everyone, Lando Assistant here, and here is our math problem for today. This is about Ramanujan's problem. Srinivasa Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician whose more than 3,900 results, mostly identities and equations, significantly contributed in the field of mathematics. His death anniversary will be tomorrow, April 26th. Here's our problem for today. Let's say we are given this system of equations. The square root of x plus y equals 7, and x plus square root of y equals 11. Find the values of x and y. Let's begin by determining what are the permissible values for x and y. Now, since we have here square root of x, that implies that the number inside the square root symbol cannot be negative. Otherwise, we will have an imaginary number. So in order to find real solutions to this system of equation, we will say that x must be non-negative, and the way to write it is to say x is greater than or equal to 0. The same with y, we have square root of y, so y must also be non-negative to have real solution, so y must be greater than or equal to 0. Then, using this first equation, we can have square root of y equals 7 minus y by subtracting y from both sides of the equation. Since x is positive, the square root of a positive number must also be positive. Then, 7 minus y must also be non-negative. That means 7 minus y must also be greater than or equal to 0. And solving for y, we subtract 7 from both sides of the inequality. And multiplying both sides by negative 1, we reverse the direction of the inequality to get y less than or equal to 7. Now using the second equation, x plus square root of y equals 11, we can represent the square root of y to be equal to 11 minus x. Now since y is greater than or equal to 0, it follows that 11 minus x must also be greater than or equal to 0. And solving for x, we have x less than or equal to 11. Now combining now all these four inequalities, we now have this result. y must be greater than or equal to 0 and must be less than or equal to 7. And so we now have here y is between 0 and 7 inclusive. The same with x, this must be between 0 and 11. And one more thing, we restrict the results, let's say the values that we want for x and y are all integer solutions. So find the values of x and y. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's put all these restrictions at the side and let's begin with a given equation. Now since it is hard to deal with square root in solving equations, let's do some substitution that will eliminate the square root symbol in our computation. So let's say x be equal to certain variable u and square it. So x equals u squared. The choice of letters is completely irrelevant. It could be a, b, c, or any other dummy variable. Then let y be equal to v squared. And with this assignment of this substituted value, we can now rewrite the first equation as the square root of u squared plus v squared, which is simply u plus v squared equals 7. Technically, this should be the absolute value of u plus v squared equals 7. But since we restrict x to be greater than or equal to 0, let's just deal with the positive u plus v squared equals 7. Then solving for u, we have u equals 7 minus v squared. Now let's go to the second equation. We have x plus the square root of y equals 11, and substituting now the values of x and y in terms of u and v, we now have u squared plus the square root of v squared equals 11. And so u squared plus v equals 11 and v equals 11 minus u squared. And these are now the two equations that we are going to work with. Let's consider this system of equation. Let's call the first one as equation 1, the second as equation 2. And let's substitute equation 1 in equation 2 to arrive at v equals 11 Instead of minus u squared, we have minus the value of u in first equation, the quantity 7 minus v squared, that's the value of u, raised to the second power. From here, everything is algebraic manipulation. So let's simplify. v equals 11 minus the square of this binomial is expanded as 49 minus 14 v squared plus v to the fourth. And then let's remove the grouping symbol. So we now have v equals 11 minus 49 
this minus sign becomes positive because we have a negative sign preceding the grouping symbol the same with this plus sign that becomes minus then 11 minus 49 is negative 38 all the rest are copied then let's gather all the terms to the left side of the equation so this minus v to the fourth becomes positive v to the fourth this plus 14 v squared becomes minus 14 v squared v is retained at the left side so there's no change in the sign and this minus 38 becomes positive 38 equals zero now we are going to apply the technique called factoring by grouping and we can do that by splitting this 14 v squared and this v into something that will result to common factors with the rest of the other terms this is what we are going to do split minus 14 v squared into minus 4 v squared and minus 10 v squared and split this 1 v into 20 v minus 19 v all the rest are just copied then group together this v to the fourth and minus 4 v squared and factor out the common factor so this is now what we arrive at common factor here is v squared common factor between 10 v squared and 20 v is 10 v common factor between 19 v and 38 is 19 so by factoring out those common factors these are the results then we have here a special product v squared minus 4 which can be written as the product of the sum and difference of two numbers v plus 2 and v minus 2 everything else are copied notice now that we have v minus 2, v minus 2, v minus 2, which we can factor out. And so we now have these final results. Factoring out v minus 2, what's left here is v squared times v plus 2. Factoring out v minus 2 here, what's left is minus 10v. Factoring out v minus 2, what's left is minus 19, then equals 0 at the right side. We have two factors whose product is 0. So we can now split these two factors, each one is equal to 0. So v minus 2 equals 0, and the other factor equals 0. From here, it's clear that v is equal to positive 2, and this third degree equation, with the help of online calculator, this v cubed minus 2v squared minus 10v minus 19 equals 0, has these three non-integer results. And since at the start of the problem we said we are only interested in finding the integer solution to this problem, then we will disregard this right part. We will just accept this v equals 2 as the solution and with v equals 2 we can now find the values of x and y we know that y is equal to v squared and we know that v is equal to 2 so that means y is equal to 2 squared which is equal to 4 and with y now equal to 4 substituting this y equals 4 in any of these original equations we now have x plus the square root of 4 equals 11 using this second equation and that gives us x equals 9 so the values of x and y are 9 and 4 respectively let's check if these values are correct substituting in the original equation if x equals 9 and y equals 4 we have these results and looking at the graph now, using Desmos graphing calculator, we now have this ordered pair 9-4 as the solution to this Ramanujan's problem. So thank you very much. And if you want more problems like this, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be the first one to know whenever we upload a new video. Also, please don't forget to watch our recommended video right here. So thank you very much. This is Lando Assistant, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.